Hello everyone, Marauders here again with uh, another video about the Acer Iconia W4. So today we're going to talk about the use of the Office Home and Student Edition that comes with the Acer Iconia W4. Now, since we're going to actually do some office work, we're going to use an actual keyboard here. So this is a USB keyboard. And because it's a USB keyboard, the first prob the first sort of problem appears. Now, the Iconia W4 has only one USB micro port which is here which I've plugged in the USB micro to USB port converter and uh, the problem is that the Iconia W4 uses the same plug for both USB as well as charging so for obvious reasons if you're going to need to use a USB port to hold the uh, to, to connect a USB device you can't charge it unless you have a cable which I'm trying to get one um, but that's luckily the Icona W4 does have an extremely long battery life so maybe that's not so much of an issue now in case you're wondering the a USB ODG cable does indeed come with the Icona W4 in the box but uh, I left it in my office so I'm using this con other converter I have now if you see the converter I have is a bit big so it's actually blocking the audio port and that's maybe something you might want to think about if you need to use an earphone at the same time okay so let's just put this back here and let's get started let me just zoom in Fix some stuff. Okay, let's go with the old handy. We'll go with wood. Let's just pick a template. Go. Okay, so we have a word document here. I mean, everyone was just wondering how. Remember that the Icona W4 is actually running an x86 processor so that's why this is full office this is not the office that comes with RT or anything ultimate document so everything looks fine I mean it, it works as what you expected what you're expecting is just typing a document so not much is used to find out here Let's give it a slight workout by giving it some more text to process and highlight on the auto marking. So I'm going to just generate some dummy text here. Okay, so I have some dummy text here. I'm going to just copy it and paste it in. So I'm going to paste in a whole bunch of these to make word need to run through it for because you can see it's generating the text dictionary correction you can see the okay you can see that it's just hovering in and everything's still good still works pretty well not much difference in speed but of course you I guess most people don't work in silence uh, you want to see some multitasking so I'll just bring in some songs I'm gonna play some audio Yes, I'm using uh, the desktop based player instead of the built in music player because I can. This is Windows, I can choose whether or not I want to use to use the desktop or the modern UI. It's my choice and I choose to use the desktop. So I can have 
something playing in the background and everything is still responsive not much reason for it not to so that's word let's bring in Excel let's generate some dummy data okay I'll zoom in so you can have a good look at the thing Okay, type some dummy data. Now I don't want the music to be too loud. I don't want this video to be flagged by YouTube as content ID, but the, it is still playing. Okay, I'm gonna give me some dummy data 11 ask for some numbers between 100 and 50 okay <laughs> so as what you usually do in excel you're gonna from here I am then going to generate a chart so I'm gonna give myself a hey a donut chart yeah but a 3d pie chart okay so as you can see well everything is works there's it, it, there's no lag it's happening quite spiffy I I'm pretty sure if you get into a highly complicated Excel chart it's gonna be a bit slower um, and actually I do have an example here I downloaded one with a I think I have one with a pivot table yes I think I do so this is a sample Excel spreadsheet which requires the pivot viewer now power pivot if you don't know what I'm talking about you don't need to know so but it's a very complicated chart that has a lot of pivot table views I can actually change the sorting uh, let's say remove the filter so you can see it's recalculating it's a very large uh, spreadsheet and it's still reading from data But this is this is a very extreme case. Okay, so you can see the data change. It's a very extreme case because this is a, this is a sample for a, ma a massive data data using Excel. So it's not a normal use case for most people. Why is word screaming? Oh, there are too many grammatical errors. Okay, fine, that's fine. Okay, so as you can see, the whatever I use, the junk text that I was using in Word was actually making it complain. So we have all this running, and now I'm just going to go with the next thing in the office, which everyone uses, which is PowerPoint. Okay, so I'm going to create. Okay, all these slide deck. Okay, this. Okay, I'm not used to typing on this small keyboard, and of course, the camera is right in front of me. Ultimate slides. Okay, let's insert a new slide. Oh, def by. PowerPoint So bullet list one oh bloody hell slay one inconceivable bullet 
2.3 yes it's very very hard to type with a camera right in front of you okay I'm just gonna then of course we won animations let's go for um, grow and turn the And um, I guess I'll just use what's this? Okay. So that's emphasis, and uh, now I'm gonna do a slight presentation. Hey. That's um, okay, and that was the short uh, office demo. And I guess there's really nothing much to say. But it sure looks like everything's working properly. That it doesn't seem to lag or anything under normal use. Um, I guess there's really nothing much to say. It works if you need office, and and. I guess that's that's it. That's it. I really don't know what else is there I can talk about. It just works. Okay. See you around.